Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to speak on the topic, three reasons why you should travel for vacation. Three reasons why you should travel for vacation. Number one, experience and education. We were told growing up that traveling is part of education. A traveler knows more than an old person. The more you travel, the more you know. The more you travel, the more you learn. The more you travel, the more informed you are about places, things, and life. Traveling teaches us a lot about what we don't know. Sometimes, when we travel, we find ourselves inside a tour bus with a tour guide taking us from building to building, places to places within the city, giving us the story and history behind those. That is education. We are being educated. We are getting new information. We are knowing what we don't know before. New knowledge, new information. Our horizon is broadened. Our perspective is widened. How about those times we find ourselves in museums and we get to learn about the museum, the contents, and the stories associated with them? These are all different ways we learn when we travel for vacation. We travel to a new country. We learn about their culture, language, their government, their food, and we pay attention to differences and similarities. When we travel, we get to see how others live as compared to how we ourselves live. When we travel, it dissipates and diffuses the prejudices and preconceptions we have about people. No need to overemphasize the fact that travel is a reliable source of acquiring new knowledge. As we all know, knowledge is power. The more we travel, the more experienced we are. Travel enriches our experience, experience about people, life, and the world at large. The more we travel, the more our repertoire of experiences is expanding. If you are looking for experienced people, ask people who travel the world. They can tell you stories and stories. If you are looking to garner myriads and avalanche of experience, then travel the world. When you travel, be open-minded to experience new things. Don't be closed-minded. Test their food. Ask about their language. Make an attempt to speak. Visit historic sites. Learn their history. Learn about their economy and politics. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. Document experiences from your travel. What you learn, how you felt, their hospitality, their friendliness, their warmness, their cuisine, how the people came across, and your overall travel experience. Keep a travel journal. Never allow your experience to vanish in the air. Preserve it. These experiences may not always be positive, but no matter what it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly, they are all experiences. Number two, recreation and relaxation. Traveling is good for recreation and relaxation. If you are looking to unwind, then travel. Traveling can calm you down. Sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is to get away. Sometimes the self-care you need is just to travel on a vacation. Sometimes one of the best gifts you can give to yourself, whether for your birthday, graduation, marriage anniversary, is just to travel for a vacation. Life sometimes could be so crazy and overwhelming. Sometimes a lot is going on at the same time. Sometimes all hell is let loose in our lives. The best thing you can do for yourself is to take a break change environment. Just go away for a week or two or three or even a month. Traveling for vacation refreshes you. It can bring you back to your mind and senses. It can give you fresh perspective on life. Traveling for vacation can be therapeutic. Traveling is good for de-stressing. Sometimes all you need is just to travel for vacation. Sometimes the solution to your problem is just to get away. Sometimes all you need is just to change location. As simple as that. All you need sometimes is just to chill, relax, spend time alone, have fun, read a good book, 
lay by the ocean, be with nature, amaze yourself with the sights and sounds of the place you are vacationing at. You cannot afford to overwork yourself. You cannot afford to burn yourself out. Don't overburden yourself. Life is too short. Enjoy yourself. It is one thing when you are on a tight budget, but when you work hard and make your money, take some vacation. It is good for you emotionally. It is a healthy practice. It is not a good idea to go on vacation with your work or rather working on your vacation. The essence of the vacation is lost then. When you decide to go on vacation, go all out. Enjoy and have fun with your flight, your hotel, and your activities. But above all, rest. Get a good sleep. Forget about everything going on. Take your mind off every care and worry. And just spend a quality time with yourself and go back rejuvenated and reinvigorated. Number three, explore the world and get entertained. The world out there is bigger than the world around us. Sometimes the world we know is the world around us. Traveling on vacation makes us know how big the world is. Traveling helps us appreciate the diversity of people's and cultures. One thing traveling and vacation does is that it helps us explore the world. We visit places, we connect with the places we visit, we make the world go around, and by traveling we improve the economy, we promote business, we create jobs, and keep people in their jobs. We help to put food on the table of people. Be it the pilots, the cabin crew, hotel workers, and those in the hospitality industry, as we like to call them, the chefs, farmers, and so on and so forth. Excite your sense of wonder when you travel to sights and wonders of the world. There is a lot to see out there. Wait till you hear stories behind these landmarks. It will blow your mind. Sometimes, some of the things you read or studied in school, again, sometimes, some of the things we read or studied in school about these places come alive immediately as you just stand in person before these places. Allow yourself to be entertained. All these are good for you. When people who travel a lot speak, people listen. When people who travel a lot speak, people listen. When people who travel a lot write books, people buy them. Traveling is an honor. Traveling is a privilege. I do know travel requires resources and money. I do know as well that not everybody has the means or the opportunity to travel. If you have the opportunity, enjoy it. If you don't have, you can look for something to do locally. How far have you traveled even within your own city or even within your state? You may not need to go abroad. You can begin from touring the states in your country. Charity, they say, begins at home. Every once in a while, you need to get out of your regular environment, admire nature, enjoy fresh air and natural vegetation. Wow yourself with great works of art by great men and women. Listen to heartwarming and soul uplifting music by world's greatest artists and composers. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from traveling on vacation, taking the fresh breeze, brightening your day with the sunshine shining on the great architectural designs of the city. Taking every little bit of it, Traveling on vacation could be a great way to build friends, make connections, network, and to get to know new people. Listen to this again. Traveling on vacation could be a great way to build friends, make connections, network, and get to know new people. Every place you travel to has something unique and peculiar to it. Every place is different. Every place has their own vibes. Plan your vacation. Save for your vacation. Make research and ask questions before you decide where to go. Look out for good deals and great travel package available. Be safe. Be security conscious. Dress appropriately according to the weather condition of the place you are traveling. 
Be aware of their currency and their exchange rate. This varies from country to country. Until I come your way again, keep traveling. Remember to subscribe to my channel, watch out for new videos, check out my old videos, share this video. Thank you for your support. Visit my website at www.venathel.com and my blog at www.venathel.com slash blog.